Hello everyone and welcome to the Tennessee Conservative News Break for Wednesday. Today we're going to try this live so please bear with me and also if you'd like please comment where you're from in the comments below and let us know any stories we can do that you would be interested in in the future. And today, as always, I'll highlight several of our top stories for you, but for many more stories, head over to our website, and while you're there, sign up for our free e-newsletter. And please consider supporting us with any donation amount, and if you donate $50 or more, we'll give you this free stainless steel tumbler, and if you donate any amount, we'll send you two proud Tennessee Conservative bumper stickers and a directory of your state officials that includes their contact information. Now let's get right into it. The Nashville, the Nashville District Attorney's Office is looking into the possibility of calling in a law enforcement expert witness who testified in the George Floyd case to help them with the first degree murder trial of a Nashville police officer that begins in July. It is still up for a judge to decide if Jody Steigler, a sergeant with the Los Angeles Police Department, will be allowed to testify against Officer Andrew Delkey. Delkey, a white officer with the Metro Nashville Police Department, is on trial for the death of Daniel Hambrick. Hambrick was a black man who was shot from behind in July of 2018 as he fled on foot from Delkey. Hambrick was armed at the time. Delkey entered a plea of not guilty. He states that he was acting in self-defense after Hambrick pointed a gun at him. The state would like to use Steiger as an expert witness on the subject of police use of force. He pre previously testified against Derek Chauvin, in the, the former officer who was found guilty of the murder of George Floyd. The next story today is U.S. Senators Marsha Blackburn along with Republican colleagues and Republican leader Mitch McConnell have reintroduced the Saving American History Act. The legislation is intended to prohibit the use of federal funds to teach the 1619 project to K-12 schools or school districts. Schools that teach the 1619 project would be ineligible for professional, federal professional development grants. Blackburn says, quote, American schools should be a place of education, not indoctrination. The 1619 Project is based on false narratives and a stack of untruths and misrepresentations about our country. This state-sponsored anti-American propaganda must be kept out of the classroom. The Saving American History Act ensures that taxpayer funding will not subsidize the brainwashing of our nation's future. End of quote from Marsha Blackburn. And I want to tell you about an event that's going on. Do you want to meet with like-minded conservatives and fight for freedoms in Tennessee? If so, be sure to reserve your seat today for the Tennessee Freedom Summit on July 10th. Head over to the website, tennesseefreedomsummit.com for more details. And for the last story of today, the federal government released more data Tuesday that shows rising inf inflation is alarming economists and casting more doubt on the hopes of a post-COVID economic boom. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reported a major spike in the cost of producer goods, which includes raw materials such as lumber or tools like machinery. The cost of producer goods rose the most since the Bureau of Labor, Labor Statistics began tracking the data more than a decade ago and is a strong indicator of inflation. Job numbers are, have also been disappointing in the recent months, falling short of expectations, and the Census Bureau reported that retail sales fell a troubling 1.3% in May, more than double the drop expected by experts. Those reports came just days after the released data showing consumer prices had spiked the most since the 2008 financial crisis. And that's it for your stories today, but for more stories and other stories, please go to our website, TennesseeConservativeNews.com, and if you can support us, please do so, and just hit the support button. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.